بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے ویل ڈسکس ڈیجاکسن ایفیکٹ وچ از آلسو کال سلورڈور دا لائس موسٹیچز دس سین وچ اپیئر آن دا ای سی جی گراپ ڈیو ٹو ڈیجاکسن از آلسو کال سلورڈور دا لائس موسٹیچز سائن ای سی جی فیچرز ڈیمانسٹریٹنگ دا ڈیجاکسن ایفیکٹ دا فرسٹ فیچر از ایس ٹی segment depression which is down sloping or scooped like T wave changes which are flattening inversion or biphasic T wave and it is due to increase automaticity and QT shortening due to reduce ventricular repolarization time. Premature beats arterial junction or ventricular. On ECG you may see pre mature beads which may be arterial or ventricular in origin and these premature beads are due to reduce conduction in the conductive system of the heart and prolonged PR interval. So let discuss them one by one down sloping ST depression. Down sloping ST depression with a characteristic reverse thick or Salvador the lies sagging appearance. You, if you will see the leg up thick, it is look like ST depression with digoxin medication. Or it may look like the mustaches of the lies well known personality for his mustaches style. And this depression is and this depression of ST segment resembling the Mostages of Salvador the lies or this sign may also be present on the faces of senior citizens sagging means anything which bulge out due to pressure so here you can also see that there is sagging effect and this sagging effect is similar to the ST depression of digoxin medication. A patient who is taking digoxin, this sign may be present if his ECG is performed. This is a typical ST segment depression with digoxin medication. The second sign of digoxin medication is platinum inverted or biphasic T wave. You can, this is the T wave, this may be either platinum or inverted or maybe by phasic. You can see that the ST depression then flatten T wave and it can be also like there is a core downward core in most stages here in the T wave also is a downward curve. The third sign or change in ACG is mild P or interval prolongation. P, mild P or interval prolongation up to 240 millisecond due to increased vagal tone and the normal P or interval is 0.12 to 0 0.20 second or 120 to 200 millisecond or 3 to 5 small squares. Here you can see this is the P or interval which start from the beginning of the P wave and end at the beginning of R wave. This interval is normally equal to 3 to 5 small square but here if you will count these small square there are 6 in number so there is a bit prolongation of the P or interval. The other change is Q T shortening QT shortening due to reduced ventricular repolarization. The QT shortening is due to reduced ventricular repolarization time. The normal QT interval is below 400 to 440 milliseconds or 0 0.0.4 to 0 0.44 second about 10 to 11 small squares. So here you can see the normal is 10 to 11 but here the small squares are 8 in number so there is shortening of the PR interval 
in digoxin medication a patient who is taken digoxin his PR interval will be short this is the classical feature of digoxin effect with sagging ST segment and latin T wave taking on the appearance of Salvador the lies mostages here in these leads you can see that there is depression of ST segment T platening and it resemble the Salvador the lies mostages this is a typical example of digoxin effect in other ECG sagging ST depression is clearly evident in lead 1 2 3 and a, B, A, B, V5, V6 and it is also associated with premature ventricular complexes suggests the possibility of digoxin toxicity. If this premature ventricular or atrial beats occur with the signs of digoxins present on ECG group this may be taken as digoxin toxicity here in these leads 1 to 3 you can see ST segment depression and T flattening these changes are present from lead 1 to 3 in AVF and V5 and V6 with multiple pre mature ventricular ectopic beats so this was about the digoxin digoxin effects which appear on ECG Grab. So thank you. Don't forget subscription, your valuable comments, and on the bell icon for updates.